Not enough time is just enough time for a segment we call, Ain't Nobody Got Time For That. <laughs> All right, let's kick things off with the Democratic Party, easily one of the top two parties in the United States. <laughs> As you know, Democrats lost control of the House in last month's midterm elections. And as they get ready to be in the minority, they're making some big changes at the top. Democrats in the House have made history with their new leadership. Congressman Hakeem Jeffries of Brooklyn has become the first black leader of either party in Congress. He will take over from Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who, as you know, is remaining in the House after stepping down from the top job. Jeffries is 52, 30 years younger than the outgoing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. A leader with a style all his own and a pension for weaving in the legacy of hip hop. That is why we are here, Mr. Seculo. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm glad no one else in the room finished that lyric. <laughs> and I don't know, as much as I enjoy it, I think it feels kind of weird to quote Biggie in such a serious and boring place like Congress. Like, I love, I love hip hop, I love hip hop, but I don't want to hear it everywhere, you know? Yeah, like, I don't want my doctor shoehorning that <laughs> in. So, Mr. Noah, what are your symptoms? Palms sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> Please take this very seriously, I'm very ill. But that's right, after 250 years, America finally has a minority, minority leader, which is amazing. <laughs> Although you will notice the Democrats only gave it to a black guy after they lost the house, yeah? It's kind of like someone crashing their car and then being like, hey, Akeem, I know you've always wanted a BMW, no need to say thank you. <laughs> also, the cops want to talk to you, bye. <laughs> but no, you still, you still have to give credit to the Democrats, right? Republicans haven't done this yet. I mean, they still think minority leader was the original title of Black Panther. And this isn't just a big deal because Jeffries is black. Remember that. This also marks a shift for the Democrats to a much younger generation of leaders. Yeah. Although again... Yeah. I mean, we also don't really know, you know? No, because Hakeem Jeffries is black, so he could be like 90. We don't actually know <laughs> how old he is. Because you realize even at 52, for a party leader in America, he's actually a young man. I mean, think about it this way. Joe Biden was in Congress when Hakeem was literally in diapers. <laughs> and now that Hakeem is in Congress, Joe Biden is the one in diapers. <laughs> the circle of life. Now, if we had more time, we could talk about how the House Democrats are just a sideshow for the next two years because the main event is whether Kevin McCarthy will be able to wrangle his clown car of crazies to get anything done. But we don't have the time to talk about that because while Hakeem Jeffries is plotting to take over the House, Elon Musk is plotting to take over our brains. 